Right, hello there, it's Katie here and we're on the site of our Endless Waters exhibition which is uh, at a place called Dove Cottage near Grasmere in the Lake District and I will put a slideshow of some pictures of some to give you a better context of this exhibition but you guys, Wonder Group, if you can cast your mind back pre-lockdown we were looking at the good old River Duddon and it was those Wordsworth poems. So the Dove Cottage is where Wordsworth lived. So this is an exhibition about one of his poems that we did, along with other community groups. So I'll walk you through it. So, can you hear that jet plane going over us now? Love my neck. So we've got a bit of inter board there, just to tell us about the project. Got that lovely landscape. And so Wordsworth was a very, 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 very famous poet who lived and worked in the Lake District and he did lots of poems about the Lake District. So here we go. So we're going to go through the River Dunn. And with each poem, we go further down the Dudden. So give me a shout at Pismarts if you want to recap and look back on those poems. So we go, we've got a nice landscape here, done in textiles. Obviously, you could just pause the video if you want to take a longer look on any of this stuff. So this is a group called Flax, who have made all of this textile stuff. South Cumbrian textile me mixed media artists. Tell you what, I'll give you a zoom out on this piece. I'll give you a sense of scale. That's pretty damn cool. Alright, moving into the next section. Oh, very earthy. Very earthy tones, very textural, sort of rustiness, trees. Look at that. Some like different bits of mushroom. All sorts. Look at that. Lovely in detail. Right, we're going over to some paintings, it seems. Again, sort of looking at the landscape, the nature. Of the Lake District. I'll give you a zoom in on one of these, I'll tell you what, it's, it's almost like they've been painted and edited, edited it digitally. Right, got some more river pieces here. Lovely. Look at that, that's nice. So you're mixing in what Wordsworth the poet would have seen back in the day because he was from a while ago. Right. Here we go back into a bit of textile goodness. And a few more books. So, this is their brand new visitor centre at Dove Cottage. It's very swish. And he's very excited for us all to maybe come one day. So, that'd be pretty cool. We'll come and uh, explore the beautiful grounds. So, like I say, I'll pop a few pictures at the end of this video for you to see sort of because <laughs> this could be anywhere I could just be in a cave underground where this exhibition is I'll look back on that nice selection of photographs there but it's a very very popular busy place in the Lake District so that's nice got lots of footfall look at that so hopefully we might get to visit but I think by the time any of you guys might get a chance to visit this exhibition, might be down. So I thought we'd take a little video tour of the place. Some more textiles, probably that's more flax. Here we go, some more artifacts. There we go. So we're moving in to the, the end of the river now. Oh, there's a really exciting fire door there. Make sure to record that. Here we go, right, oh, 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 there we go, here is the prism arts section. I need to step back, there's just so much artwork, I'm going to have to step back to get it all in. What a beauty, eh? What a beauty. So as you can see, there's a bit of time, um, time, no, space constraints. I've not managed to fit absolutely everything in, but we've got a few gems here. 
So that's our little section. So we did the estuary where the river starts entering into the sea. So the amber silk painting, very nice and deep and earthy. Michael silk painting, I think that's a curly. It's a bird of some sort. We've got Michael's landscape. Can I get a bit of detail on that? Look at that. And then roses embroidery. Beautiful kaleidoscope and texture at the top of our little trio there. We'll move on to sort of some painting areas. Amber's beautiful landscape picture. Really nice colour schemes in there. I'll come up to Annie's ink paintings. These are great, they're so full of life. And I love that sort of that swampy green almost. It's lovely. Act, we're coming into more sort of printing area now. Andy's Colograph prints. Really nice sort of textual abstract. Coming up to the fabric painting from Caroline. Super colourful. And Jonathan's Colograph print. Well, I think a bit of the things from the Colograph came onto the piece and it works really nicely. That feather. Hmm, very Wordsworthy. Alrighty. I've got some lovely, we did quite a lot of watercolour painting in this project. And here is a sample of it. So we've got Jonathan on the bottom row and Harvey on the top. We're looking at sort of colours and seasons. Really nice. Get a bit of a close up on that. That's, that's very nice. And then we've got a big relief print up here for Mandy. Brilliant. Oh, and here we are. So you can always pause and have a read of that. Uh, it's a bit of a summary on what we've done. So I'm giving you a whistle stop tour there. It's about seven minutes, it says, on this exhibition. I'll give you one last pan around. But it's really just an exhibition of some beautiful textiles, visual arts. Oh, we didn't have a look at this, did we? Here we go. So here is the river itself. That's us at the estuary there. It travels all the way back. Beautiful. Spinning around, spinning around. Do, 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 do. So it's lots of different community groups, such as ourselves, get involved. But look at that. What a stunning corner of an exhibition. I think our work looks rather tasty. So yes, thank you for coming with me on this little tour. Uh, no doubt I shall uh, we'll see you soon. Sweet. Goodbye. <laughs>